Hey, Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom here. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, we're going to be looking at Positive Grid's new Bias Effects Universal app for the iPhone. Now, Positive Grid makes amazing products, and you, you probably know that I use them a lot in my videos and, you know, the songs that I write and things like that, recordings that I do. Uh, but it's really awesome to finally have a full-blown version of what I like to use on the desktop now available here on the iPhone. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the best features of the Bias Effects Universal app. <laughs> Now, what's really cool is all the best stuff that you expect from the Bias Effects uh, VST for your desktop is now available here on the app for the iPhone. And um, they, they sound great and it's just really easy. So some of the best features that I found, number one is the fact that you can still have the dual amps. So if you like to run two different amps, you know, different two different settings, that sort of thing, and we'll look at that, it's available. The drag and drop feature is really, really easy. The editing is really easy. Just the overall interface is just really easy and it sounds incredible. So let's go ahead and take a look at this once. So if we look at my iPhone right here, now before we get started, let me just explain to you what I'm using. I'm running from my, my guitar, my Ibanez with my EMGs into, it's called a, it's made by Shure and it's called the MVI. That's what it's called. It's an audio interface that's made for the iPhone. So I run my guitar into that, and then I run that into my iPhone, and I'm set. There's a headphone out that I could run headphones. Right now, I'm actually running it into my desktop so I can record my voice and my guitar at the same time for this video. And it sounds great. So let's go ahead and look at the actual interface here. So the first thing I want you to see that I think is really incredible is the settings. Again, there's nothing real special in here. There's just the normal settings. But if you've never seen this before, there's something called a background audio mode. Now, again, it's not a real incredibly special feature, but it's really nice if you like to practice with your mobile device. If you've got your phone and you're just jamming, if you enable that background audio mode, what happens then is when you're in this app, you can play. But let's say you wanted to go to Spotify or you wanted to go to you know, Apple Music or YouTube or something, and you wanted to jam along with some stuff, you can actually exit the app and it will run in the background. So then you can open Spotify or open, you know, YouTube or whatever and play along with, you know, practice your jams or whatever it is that you like to do, and it'll continue running in the background. So that's an incredibly beneficial feature for those people that like to jam along with songs or jam tracks or whatever it might be. All right. Next, we have this little shopping cart here, and this is where you can buy all these different packs. You know, you can see this one, the analog effect pack, which I've already purchased. A classic from 60s, powerhouse pack, acoustic pack. There's just all these different things that you can get to uh, further all of the options that you've got here in Bias Effects Universal. Okay, then moving over here, this is where our presets are going to be. We're gonna look at some of those. And then the very last one over here, is what they refer to as the tone cloud. Now the tone cloud is an amazing thing. You can go to the tone cloud and you can actually uh, test out and download presets from artists all over the world and find some that you like and download them to your phone and then you know tweak them as needed. Uh, I don't have the tone cloud enabled right now simply because every time I turn on the Wi-Fi on my phone, it either starts ringing or I get text messages. So I'm trying to get through this video without any disturbances. So it's off right now, but it's a great feature. All right, so let's actually look at what's happening here. Now, I've, I've just went to the free sounds here, and I, I chose this one, which is called Beefy Lead, which, if you can see, has a noise gate, a drive, EQ, and then, of course, here's my dual amps right here, okay? And then it ends with a delay. Now, let's say I wanted to change the delay a little bit. I want the delay. What I can do is simply click on it here, and it'll see how it says choose, Okay, and I can choose a different pedal if I want to. Okay, or what I can do is just click down here. See where that little arrow is? If I click down here, the, the, the pedal itself will pop up and then I can turn it off. Turn it on. You know, I can change the tone a little bit. Uh, I'll bring the level up so you can really hear it here. Okay, 
So I'm going to bring that back down a little bit. And if I just click, it'll go away. All right, let's say I go to the EQ. So I come over here, there's my EQ. I can, you know, mess with this however I like. Um, there's just all kinds of different stuff. Let's say, for instance, I wanted to add a reverb pedal. I could come over to the plus, hit the plus here, and go over to reverb, and choose a reverb pedal. Now, it's put the reverb pedal right there. You see that? Let's say I want the reverb pedal at the very end of the chain. So what I can do is just press and hold it. And now I can simply drag and drop it wherever I want, hit the little arrow down here, and there's my reverb pedal. Switch that over to a plate, maybe drop the level down a little bit. You know, whatever. So there's my reverb. Now, if I don't want it on, I'll leave it there for now. That's perfectly fine. I'm gonna hit this arrow, turn it off, okay? If I hit it twice like this, see the effects pop up. So I can change it to something else if I want. Let's say I, instead I wanted a spring reverb or a stereo reverb or something, I could, I could edit that. But right now, I'm just gonna leave it there and I've got it turned off so it's out of the way. Okay, now if I come over to the amps and I hit that plus, I can go over to, let's say, this plexi right here, and there it is, and I could choose another amp. So I could go in here and choose something else, which is pretty cool, okay? I can also click it, and you'll see it says choose, so I can choose a different app like I just showed you. Or I can go to edit in bias, and it's gonna send that amp, that plexi right there, into bias amp, which is another piece of software I have on my iPhone from Positive Grid. And I can, I can edit the cabinets, I can change uh, you know, the, the transformers, or I can change the, the tubes, or whatever it is I'd like to do. And then I can send it right back into bias effects and save it that way. It's just amazing that you can do this from a phone, okay? So that's that one. Let's go ahead and look at something else. So I'm gonna go to the next patch here, which is the crunch starter. So I'm gonna click that. And now we see we just have a noise gate, a drive, and then this dual amp plexi is probably what's under there. And it is. Okay. Okay, so a great rock and roll tone, but let's say I wanted to bump this up a little bit. So I go in here and I'm going to, now you can see how easy this is. I'm gonna take the gain, I'm gonna turn the gain up a little bit. I'm gonna turn the treble up a little bit and I'm gonna turn the presence up a little bit. Now let's say I went to the drive and I wanna turn that up just a little bit as well. So I'm gonna to go to the distortion here, turn that up. Okay, now what I want you to hear is you can hear there's a little bit of noise there. This is one of the greatest things I love here about this gate, which is made by Positive Grid. It's got a nice reduction here, but if I go to mute, it literally mutes that thing, okay? So if you like higher gain settings and you find that you're not really getting enough noise reduction, if you switch that to mute, you're gonna get what you need, okay? So now... Okay, so that works pretty well. So that just shows you how easy it is to try and kind of dial in sounds with this thing. You know, if you click on something and you want to edit it, Let's go to that drive there, okay? I literally can just take my finger and do this and just move it back and forth to wherever it is I want it. I can also take that pedal if I wanted to and I can move it somewhere else. I don't mean to move the, uh, the iPhone in the camera angle there, sorry about that. So I can just move it wherever it is I want. So it's really easy to use and as you can hear, it sounds really great. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here, let's try uh, 80s metal. All right, let's try, we're gonna go to the metal signature pack and try Cowboys from Heaven, which I'm assuming should be like. Right?
okay? And I've actually downloaded one of mine, which just is called Steve Stein Lead Channel. So I'm going to go in here. Now I tend to really push the uh, the mids and stuff up. Okay. And it's just nice to have that. So if I'm ever somewhere where I'm going to jam with somebody or, and I don't have all my stuff with, I can just, like I did a rehearsal in Minneapolis, which is a little ways for me. And I didn't bring all my stuff. I, I just brought my phone and plugged it into their PA. And that's how I practice with that. You know, again, you could adjust it however needed. So the point of this is, is that this app is just perfect if you practice and you're, you're not around your stuff or you don't always want to be, you know, lugging a cabinet or something around. You're practicing upstairs or you're, you know, you travel a lot. It's a very easy way. All you need is an audio interface to plug into and some headphones and you're ready to go. And like I showed you with the, um, the audio in the background thing, you could just practice along with anything else on your phone. Another great thing about this is writing. You know, if you like to write stuff, you can just explore all kinds of wonderful sounds. Like, let's say I go back here and I go to Easy Clean. And I just want to explore something cool. You know, maybe it's very inspirational for my writing to just grab a different kind of sound, go out on that tone cloud, find something interesting and just sit around and explore that. Um, and the last thing is, is it's certainly great for recording as I'm doing right now. You could do the same thing. You could run from your phone right into, you know, your, your computer or whatever it is and do your recordings like that as well. And there's actually software that you can get for your iPhone that you can do recording direct from, from this app as well. So there's just incredible stuff that you can do. So I hope you check it out. Um, there's going to be some links that you can click on to learn more about the Bias Effects Universal. Um, but it's just a really amazing app, and I hope it helps you with your guitar playing.